Happy day children. Welcome to the next session of grade 6 science chapter 13 fun with magnets. Magnets have several interesting properties. Come on, let's learn about them in this session. When a magnet is moved amongst iron fillings, what does it show you? It is found that more iron fillings are attracted towards the region close to the ends of the magnet. The regions of a magnet where the magnetic force is strongest are called the poles of the magnet. Every magnet has two poles, North Pole and South Pole respectively. The poles always exist in pairs. It is found that each part has two poles when a bar magnet is broken into two. If each part is again broken into smaller pieces, each piece has two poles. One pole cannot be separated and isolated from the other. Attraction and Repulsion of Magnets Magnets attract each other when unlike poles are brought near each other and repel when like poles are brought near each other. The pull or push that is the attraction or repulsion exerted by magnets on magnetic substances is called magnetic force. Will the magnetic force be felt even at a great distance from the magnets? No. The magnetic force is felt only around a particular region around the magnet. This region where the magnetic force can be felt is called as magnetic field. Magnetic field lines always start from North Pole to South Pole. They are crowded at the poles where magnetic force is strongest. They do not intersect with each other. Different shapes of magnet exhibit different patterns of magnetic field lines. Do you know that magnets are used to find directions? Yes, it is said to be the directive property of magnets. A freely suspended magnet always comes to rest in the north-south direction with the north pole of the magnet always pointing in the geographical north direction. This property of the magnet is very useful. For centuries together, travelers have been making use of this property of magnets to find directions. Later on, a device was developed based on this property of magnets. It is known as the magnetic compass. A compass is usually a small box with a glass cover on it. A magnetized needle is pivoted inside the box which can rotate freely. The compass also has a dial with directions marked on it. When the compass is placed at any place where we wish to know the directions, its needle indicates the north-south direction when it comes to rest. Now, the dial is adjusted in such a way that the north and south markings of the dial coincides with that of the magnetic needle. To identify the north pole of the magnetic needle, it is usually painted in different color. Making your own magnet. There are several methods of making magnets. The single touch method is the simple, simplest of them. Take a rectangular piece of iron or an iron pin and place it on the table. Take a bar magnet and place 
one of its pole near one edge of the iron needle. Without lifting the bar magnet, move it along the length of the iron bar till you reach the other end. Now, again, repeat this process for 30 to 40 times. What happens? This iron pin is magnetized and is ready to attract other objects made of iron. But great care must be taken that the pole of the magnet and the direction of its movement should not change. Demagnetization. A magnet can be demagnetized, that is, it can be made to lose its magnetism by heating, hammering, dropping, or rough handling. And even magnets lose their magnetic properties when they are stored with their light poles next to each other. So great care must be taken when we are using magnets or while storing them to prevent them from losing their magnetic properties. Magnets should not be heated or rough handling of magnets should be avoided as they will lose their magnetic property. Magnets should be kept away from mobile phones, televisions and computers. Bar magnets should be stored in pairs with their opposite poles lying side by side. A piece of wood should be kept between the magnets and two pieces of soft iron called keepers should be placed across the poles. Keepers always prevent demagnetization of magnets. For a horseshoe magnet, a single keeper is placed across the poles. Children, wasn't it interesting to learn about a material which attracts other objects? Yes, I hope you are ready to have fun with magnets after learning about its scientific properties. Thank you.